Hi, and welcome to the new section dealing with outliers. So the first topic in this section is what are outliers? We'll be discussing the following topics in this video. First, we'll discuss what are outliers. Then we'll move on to causes of outliers. And finally, I'll show you some examples of outliers in data sets. So let's go ahead. So what exactly are outliers? Outlier is a value that lies in an abnormally high distance from other values in a data set. Another way of looking at an outlier is that it will have a very high or very low value as compared to other values in the data set. As I said, it can essentially be much smaller or much larger than other values in the data set. Also, in some cases, it might not exhibit the same data pattern as shown by other values in the data set. Also, it is quite difficult to identify outliers because they differ mainly based on the characteristics of a particular data set. So, one technique or one way of identifying outliers in a data set might not be useful for other data set. Now that we have a fair idea of outliers, let's move on to what causes a value to become an outlier. One of the common cases is error in recording data. So I'll give you an example. Suppose we are recording temperature and the temperature is recorded in Celsius format. Now if someone or a person employed to record data, by mistake he or she records the data in Fahrenheit. Now 100 degree Fahrenheit might not be much, but 100 degree Celsius is a lot. So you get the point. Basically, some error in uh, recording units, etc., might lead to an outlier. Also, it might be the case that the data might be corrupted by while loading or transferring, etc. One final thing that I want to tell you is that the data might actually have those high or low values. What this means is that the outlier might not be due to some error in recording data or due to some correction of data. That outlier might be a true value, which I'll show you an example. Now here I have three columns, gender, age, and height. So you have gender, male, female, etc and age 20 21 24 28 whatever so this is just dummy data next up i have height in centimeter so 150 151 153 etc as you can see the height is in centimeter now one outlier that you can easily recognize is here so male 28 and 280 now why this is an outlier this is because 280 centimeter is over 9 feet. It is not possible for any human to have a height over 9 feet. I mean, there are some cases in history of having extraordinary height, but usually that's not the case that you see in your day to day life. So, this is definitely an outlier. This value is abnormally high as compared to other values in the data set. Next up, we have the count of Olympic medals by players. These are actual values taken from the Wikipedia. So this is the URL. So list of multiple Olympic medalists. Now as you can see here, most of the medals are in the range, I mean in this table are like 12, 13, 15. This value is abnormally high like Michael Phelps 28 Olympic gold medals I mean this is just awesome but this is our case this is quite high however even though this is an outlier this is accurate data so this is a case which I was trying to tell you earlier on that in some cases that the value might be abnormally high but still it might be real data so this is an example of that case you can say that this is a true outlier. I mean, this is not due to any error in recording, etc. Michael Phelps actually has 28 uh, Olympic medals to his name. So that's it for this lecture. Quick recap of what we have done. 
An outlier is a value which is abnormally high or low as compared to other values in the data set. Sometimes outliers are true values reflecting abnormal patterns in the data. In some cases, they are simply error in recording, transferring of data, etc. 